With just three weeks to go until Christmas, Lee County Sheriff Mike Scott has made his list and checked it twice. And for a certain group of fugitives, his hope is that they'll get nothing but a lump of coal in their holiday stockings. These criminals in many cases just simply appear not to have any conscience whatsoever. I don't know how they get to sleep at night. Sitting atop that list is Naomi Ramos, a woman initially arrested last year on multiple counts of aggravated child abuse and human trafficking. Deputies say Ramos would beat her children and even withhold food from them if they wouldn't go out and buy drugs for her. In one instance, she even prostituted out her own daughter in exchange for pills. When you've got a, you know, a terrible parent like this, not even worthy of the title parent, we'd really like to stuff her stockings this Christmas and get her back in jail where she belongs. Ramos is likely to be staying in drug neighborhoods here in southwest Florida, obviously trying to lay low to avoid arrest for violating her probation. Unforgivable. Yeah, especially when the victim is a child, a young, defenseless child. Also on the not-so-nice list is a man who's been on Crime Stoppers' 10 Most Wanted list for far too long, Troy Bolin. He's accused of sexually molesting his former stepdaughter starting when she was just six years old. That abuse went on for years until the little girl had the courage to come forward. Ironically, at the same time, Bolin was preaching the Bible to neighborhood kids. Some of these crimes are really unthinkable, and that's, that's one of them. You know, break, again, breaking the trust and confidence of a of a young child under the guise of, you know, religion. And though he's been avoiding a jail cell for several years now, law enforcement is confident that Boland's day will come. He'll come up for air, and uh, four years is a long time to be on the run. Maybe he'll get careless. Take a look at these faces, and if you recognize any of them, call Crime Stoppers and help give them a new home for the holidays, one with steel doors and orange jumpsuits. Put them back in jail where they belong, let them get before a judge, face justice, and uh, hopefully bring some justice for the victim. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.